Hello everyone, now we are back. Welcome to another installment of Transit Weatherman. So because it's in Mercury retrograde fashion, literally everything that I was trying to do as far as getting this video out to y'all just kept acting up. So I was like, you know what, screw this. We go on impromptu, we go on live, and we really just gonna talk about this solar eclipse straight up as it is. So I'm about to put down, down in the comment what this is in case people wanted to know. But yeah, let's get to it. This is gonna be this in Gemini. And like I said, er literally every obstacle possible as far as me getting this information with y'all has been just like the video stopped working, the internet's acting up, there's so many things and we're in the middle of retrograde. So I'm not necessarily surprised, but I definitely think there's like a little extra interference because I was like, let's, let's go off today. Let's really talk about what's going to be going on. But because of this, like this is going to stop the, the motion of things. Shout out to y'all who have showing up. Shout out to y'all showing love. Please be sure to share this to somebody else as well because it may help. But let's get into what's going to be coming up for this upcoming week, right? We have the new moon solar eclipse in five days from now, making its conjunction to Mercury retrograde. So with this conjunction to Mercury retrograde and the way that things are about to change, this is really going to be conveying and bringing out these different parts to our past that we may have forgotten. These different parts to our um, old selves or our prior selves that are going to start to come back up. Happy to see me live. Hey, that's what's up. Um, I was basically just transitioning over beforehand to a little more of like a, I wanted to like actually have it as a platform. But to be real, if the lives are working, then the lives are working and that's what we're going to do. So hey like i said well whatever it has to be is how it's going to be conveyed so that's how that's where we at but let's get into like i said a little bit more of this solar eclipse so when eclipses happen they shift destiny right they shift the concept of destiny and they shift to where these things are going to be happening within our personal lives so you have to make sure to know where is gemini in your birth chart because gemini in your birth chart is going to convey to you where these shifts and where these changes are going to happen specifically for you if you do not know where gemini is in your chart please be sure to ask me on hey hero about um what's going to be going on with the solar eclipse for you i'll be able to pull the cards i'll be able to pull up your chart and get you really like down point to what's going to be releasing for you so the difference between uh, this new moon in comparison to other new moons other new moons I'm always like yo it's time for you to manifest it's time for you to bring in the next thing during the clip season I don't recommend you manifest shit <laughs> like, like don't like literally just let go and let the universe because letting go and letting the universe is really what's going to be allowing you to fall into the places that you're supposed to be fall into the spaces that you're supposed to be as well um like I said with this retrograde motion though going on we've been having a bunch of technical difficulties I had tough technical difficulties and just difficulties getting my words out for the past 45 minutes to the point where I was like, screw this, we go on live, <laughs> like we're just, we're going to go do this. But um, a part of that too is like, for at least like in my example is like, I, I felt the need, I'm like, I have to tell y'all about what's going on this week. And so when you feel that, that need and when you feel that like desire that starts to like spin in you, please make sure that you honor that a lot of the time that's going to be your higher forces and etc trying to help you to just convey the things that you need to say you get what i'm saying so it's like and because it is gemini as well and mercury retrograde has been in gemini it's all about what you say and how you're going to pull up do you come to my page on saturday now yep anything that you want to find from me come to my page um, I'm going to be doing classes and such like that as well. Um, I'm just basically trying to plan out and make sure that everything is right and such like that. But also uh, retrograde, eclipse season. I had to take some time out to rest myself because it was literally in my sign. And it was a lot. <laughs> but because of that, um, this is basically like making a new transition for not just myself, but for the rest of y'all as well. So this is why I'm like, this eclipses affect everyone. It doesn't matter who you are everyone you are not exempt from this ever <laughs> like these <laughs> eclipses are very much shaping this um and they're trying to get you to be really more combined to your truth right part of that truth is just like not being um filtered by the world outside of you you get what i'm saying but once more this mercury retrograde happening on this eclipse day is very much going to be making sure that you're able to 
revitalize and revise the things that are going to be most important because come this summer and come when everything else comes up you're going to have to take this front stage and the things that you do and the things that you've claimed this entire time like you're going to have to be there you're going to have to make these things happen and that's on the basis of you that is on the the authority of you as well when it comes to all of this so that's pretty much what goes on. Actually, um, some uh, Viv just said like my live was perfect timing. Uh, to keep it a stack, like it was your message as I was trying to do this. That was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go live. So shouts out to you. Like I don't think y'all understand. Even with me conveying these messages, a lot of the time y'all tell me stuff too, and I'm like, I bet. Like you know what I mean? We're all in this together as like a soul tribe, as a soul fam, and not even that as a collective. Which is why it's like we need to really get our shit together with one another and be honest with one another about the things that we think about the things that we like i'm an astrologer i love astrology astrology has helped me help other people and has helped me help me so, so this is something that i love to do so this is like where it's like all right this is my truth right two and a half years ago when the lunar eclipse first happened the total lunar eclipse first happened is when i decided i was going to do astrology for the first time when i was like all right i'm about to be out there i'm about to make this youtube channel i'm about to start putting this content out there nobody's gonna watch it but i don't care and like, but that shift has gone from there to now where people are like, hey, we haven't seen you live in a couple of weeks. We've missed that. You get where I'm coming from? So it's like, this is how these shifts start to happen. So look at the last two and a half years and compare it to now, because the last two and a half years compared to now is going to be making that differential that you are, that you think that you might not have made yet, but you have. And this is why you're here. And this is why we're all working on these things. And this is why you've been paying attention to the astrology because we're literally shifting the destiny. And, and if I'm not mistaken, this is the last eclipse before the nose actually going to Taurus and Scorpio. So with that being said, this is all about communication. This is all about your philosophy. This is all about how you're going to really bridge in these old thoughts and then make them real and make them new and then re and change them into them being exactly what you need them to be. So there's a lot of revitalization of skills that your higher self and your higher parts are going to be making you um, happen with this, right? Um, appreciate you. It was wonderful to connect with another with the same chart aspect. Libra North Node. In fact, I have a Libra North Node as well. So it's like, hey, I know the astrology, but what's the point of me knowing the astrology if I can't convey it to other people and help them out and they can't convey things to me and help me out? Who knows? Someone said earlier, help me to help you. Facts. But this is, this is like the, the way that the energy is supposed to go and it's supposed to flow. Period. Right? So, yeah. Some people are having issues watching this live stream. Mercury is going retrograde crazy. I literally was gone for an hour before this and it just didn't work. So, I was like, hey, let's get it. Um, Became a, a therapist two and a half years ago. Yo, that's dope. So, like, now, let's see. Like, so, two and a half years ago, you became a therapist and now you are refined in your field. And no one's going to question whether you're a therapist or not. But two and a half years ago, you were like, man, can I really do this? This is what's going on with everyone, whether you are aware or not anything else, right? Um, hi, what's up, everybody? Much love for y'all showing up. I never really go live on um, my actual channel for real uh, or my Instagram for real. But hopefully this ends up happening. So what's up to everybody in here? But let's get into this week a little bit because like this week isn't super daunting. But today hella extra i'll explain this today in a second um today's mad extra the rest of the week is very much trying to like pretty much bridge us in and bridge us together for this solar eclipse um now nah, i'm dolo i I'm, I'm now dolo i'm also working with mystic illuminations i'm going to be um working with them as well i'll be putting some stuff up just figuring a couple things out on that end but yeah now nah, it's just it's just uh just me right now lunar eclipse and sagittarius was very much uh pushing forward for me to like gain that that new piece of mind and that new piece of like self in order to convey my truth right and that had a lot to do with um all that releasing as well and why i have kind of been dola or off for the last like week or two because i needed to basically like <laughs> from everything so appreciate the concern appreciate the love and everyone has been showing love and reaching out too i do acknowledge it and i do recognize it so i really do appreciate that but um yeah so if you like the live streams better i might just go back to doing the live streams um yeah just just peep me let me know hit me up y'all know where to find me if not i'm going to be doing these really fancy extra looking cool videos that sound great but regardless just let me know what's going on um <laughs> so let's go to saturday let's start off with today right 
So today, we're going to be having Mercury retrograde making a square over to Neptune. So Mercury retrograde with a square to Neptune is exactly why I couldn't get like my video to work right i couldn't like make it happen at the time frame this is like personal but i just was talking about this earlier but the reason why um is because the mercury retrograde making a square over to neptune is going to be like causing a lot of different difficulties when it comes to like pushing out and conveying the words that are announced with your dream as well so there's like a certain sense of like polarity and a certain sense of like tug and pull which is going on with this which is kind of making a it's, it's making a little bit of a difficulty as far as like how do i really want to speak my truth right this is a day that is very profound i'm like why that's kind of why i feel like i was harping on it where i'm like yo this this new moon is about speaking your truth this is the day where it's like what is my truth right <laughs> mercury retrograde and square neptune is like what is my truth is my truth actually aligned to my dream or is my truth just like something else that i kind of like feed myself into you know what i mean like these are the type of thoughts that kind of come up in regards to this now mars and cancer is going to be making its opposition to pluto and cap that's what i need to pinpoint today right mars and cancer making its opposition to pluto and capricorn this is going to be having a tug and pull as far as what do you find comfortable and what is actually going to be most beneficial for you to like complete um your mission to complete your legacy a little bit more right um Hey, much love. Someone turn the notifications on because of the lives. Much love. That's what's up. Um, I'm going to be doing the new moon. I'm not doing a new moon class um, in the same capacity that I was. Uh, to be honest, I might just do this new moon. What's coming up for the new moon like for free. Just, just to peep y'all because this is Eclipse time frame. I will be hosting other classes and such like that on the new moons and full moons myself coming up forward. But I definitely wanted to at least like give y'all the real just because like it's the eclipse season there's so many things going on it's retrograde like i just want to be able to like get that out for y'all um where so hold on a second. i used to say i can't afford school but now you're a student at love and light school become a certified crystal here that's fire yeah so for the new moon in cancer i will be doing my own ceremony for that uh what you just said about comfort and realistic are up for me right now right so this is like versus the comfort comfort versus like the reality of you having to get certain things done right so this is like breaking us out of our comfort zone in a very uncomfortable way right like they're like it's like it's, it's to very much tie and pull this out on top of that the moon is in aries so with the moon being in aries there's a lot of like fire in the air there's a lot of um dynamic as well that comes in with this with this energy at, at large right now What's also interesting about, if I'm not mistaken, I mean, I'm, I have the astrology over here. So if I'm looking over here, I'm looking at literally like the charts. But um, what we have today, the moon is passing through Aries. It just passed by Chiron yesterday. And by passing by Chiron yesterday, this was a very like interesting healing aspect. I think a lot of people came to terms with the things that they might have felt on a deeper scale potentially yesterday in certain regards. Um, I will be posting this on my page after. Do not worry. Um, it will be up there for y'all to see just in case you can't stay through the whole entire live. No worries on that end. But um, let's get to the next part, which is going to be Tuesday, right? So today is going to be the tug and pull day. This is the like, what really is your dream from the, the retrograde thing? Like, what are you really into that? And then Mars and Cancer is literally pulling you out of your comfort zone. And why is this? The eclipse season is about making you lose your comfort zone entirely and having to just do the thing right i don't want to go live on my own page i've been ducking this for as long as i possibly could but guess what i gotta do what i gotta do in order to can in order to get y'all what's going on right like i could have just sat there and been like that i could have been like sorry no astrology it's saturday today my bad you know not really feeling it but now nah, i have to <laughs> you know what i mean but like what do you have to do what do you feel that you have to get done? What do you feel that has to happen? Because that's what's going to be most critical coming up for this upcoming week. You get what I'm saying? Love from South Africa. What's good? What's up? Um, Shouts out to all my international people around the world. Um, But getting into the next part, right? Uh, This next day, we have the sun and the moon in Taurus making its conjunction to Uranus, right? So the moon in Taurus, once more, comfort structures are being yeeted this whole week. <laughs> like this whole entire week, your comfort structures are getting the big yeet. 
and why this is is because you're trying to like basically we're heading into this like I almost said new earth and I don't like saying terms like that but like in a sense it's true like it's this new like this, this new earth this new reality and almost if this new entire like world is starting to come in and this world isn't the world that we're in right now is being affected by the eclipse, which is why if the last week and a half, two weeks since the lunar eclipse haven't felt real to you, it's not going to feel real to you until we're in cancer season. I'm just going to be straight up. And that's because like this moon making its conjunction to Uranus in between the big E, 100%. Um, I don't want to say new dimension. I'm saying new world. And the reason why I'm saying new world specifically is because Taurus is the earth right so what i'm saying new world is like there's a new structure behind the world that you see your old structure behind the world that you thought you knew is gone <laughs> like you get what i'm saying it's gone it's gone it's gone which is cool but now this murky retrograde is like okay so now that it's gone how are you going to rebuild and revise this new world that you've been starting to step into right and with this conjunction to uranus how are you going to use your personal genius in order to make this world right for you how are you going to use your genius in order to make this world right in um your capacity right around that murky retrograde has been nuts but in the best way murky retrograde has been nuts in the best way until i was messing with my video a bit ago and i was like screw it, we're going live but honestly i like the fact that i am live right now so shout out to y'all for being here i appreciate the love i was going to do this live even if nobody showed up so the fact that <laughs> so the fact that y'all did actually really does like give like a lot of like cool comfort so i really do appreciate that um so, so you're going to need a little more help understanding all this. You think all the parts are broken. So to kind of explain this to you, if you've been feeling down, if you've been feeling down and out, if you've been feeling whatever else, we have just a total lunar eclipse. Now, I always talked about eclipses and I'm like, eclipses are 10 times whatever, right? It's 50 times. When it's a total lunar <laughs> eclipse, it is 50 times. That had me through the ringer. I'm sure I had a lot of other people do the ringer. And there is a lot. And it's emotional. Lunar Eclipse is all about the emotion. It's all about the purging of the emotion. Purging of the feeling, right? And now that you've purged all the feeling, the solar eclipse is like, okay, now that you took all these feelings, how are you going to actually embody the truth that you've understood from this, right? Been feeling misunderstood? Super, super here misunderstood. Like, super misunderstood energy has been going up i see him in my element you can't take me on my element uh you can't take me on my anyway but um <laughs> i just think um what's going to be cool all my clownery is going to start coming out a lot more uh so if y'all have been intrigued or interested by me just being an absolute dork then uh, I guess that will be helping you out. But like I said, I'll be working a little bit more on Mystic Illuminations, just figuring a couple of things out uh, to bridge those platforms together. Because that's super dope. It's like 50, 50 spiritualists, 50 heads on there. Mad fire. Definitely going to be working that out. I've uh, been ready to fight everyone, Moon and Aries. I've uh, been crying the last on and off for the last 10 hours. Venus and Mars and Cancer. Uh, just got the urge to cut and dye your hair pink. Do it. You might as well. Why not? <laughs> Been receiving a lot of blank stares when speaking your truth. Yo, I'm a, I'm a going to highlight that. Thank you so much for saying that. You've been seeing a lot of blank stares when trying to speak your truth. This is what eclipse season is all about. People will be like, oh, that's what you believe. And they'll just look at you and be like, and it's not even like it's not even like you're wrong, right? So 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 in your head you'll be like, oh, why am I saying this? But like it's not even like you're wrong. You are going to be correct if it's your truth. The Gemini truth is that it's your truth that's being spoken, and your truth being spoken is going to also highlight what is true to you. So what is true to you, legitimately, not like not on some like oh whatever else. Like this is why it's so important to get a hold of that because your higher guides and self are going to be making sure that you honor this truth um does this heavy energy end with that next eclipse it ends when retrograde ends sort of um which is why i was trying to say to y'all basically the rest of gemini season is shot <laughs> all the gemini, gemini season for the most part is literally just like shift emotional shift feeling shift life shift like it's in and, and, and you have to do that like, you have to just go with it. You get what I'm saying? Like, basically, think about it like this, right? Every new moon and full moon, you have basically full creative control. <laughs> like, you're like, oh, cool. It's a new moon. I can manifest something. Full moon happens, you're like, oh, I can release this thing here, right? You have, like, full creative control. When eclipses happen, this is when I had this, um, this analogy in my last class that I did where it's, like, it's basically, like, when HR comes in. You know, it's, like, when HR comes into the restaurant and they're, like... 
so saw this spec on this fork we're going to give you a negative rating like you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but the reason why is because it's like the universe kind of comes in and just like slaps everything up a little bit in order for people to start to get their stuff together working on a reiki master certification best of luck to you uh people wanting you to be authentic is lies it's yo i'm gonna be real that is 100 percent true people be, people will be like oh be real be authentic tell them what's up and then you say one thing and they're like oh <gasps> Like, 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 it's, it's really funny, right? But at the same time, people can get offended by your authenticity or by your truth. But if they're offended by your truth, but it was real for you, then that's real. The trap that you're right. So the trap when it comes to like, oh, just be yourself always comes from people that are never themselves. Follow that. Anyone that's like, oh, it's okay. You can like, just like be yourself, but they're never themselves. Oh, we just want to like get into your like authentic nature, but they don't even know what authenticity means. You get what I'm saying? So it's like it's like these are the things that are happening. People are straight up being like, especially if you're spiritual, especially if you like have these things. Like people are really getting that. Um, did I just swear? Yes, I did. This is my platform. I say what I want. Um, I'm grown, <laughs> but on the real. Um, I mean, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it definitely toned down for like classes and stuff, but like. I went live. I went in prom too. This is we gotta just be real right here, cause all that. And but I, I just felt like doing it, so I did. You know what I'm saying? This is what is the most important. But yeah, people want to be their truth of you. Yo, I appreciate. See, this is why going live is cool, cause then y'all just start hitting me with stuff, and I'm like, this is so relevant to what's going on. This is a really great, great thing, right? Sagittarius always speaking the truth. Facts. Why we get in as much like <laughs> people like, oh, did they say that? It's like, no, I said what I said, like. I, I was I was being real about it. So, because once you're real about stuff, people can't try you for being real about whatever you're being honest about. Like, they can be like, I don't like it, but like, if you're being that, then that's that. I I'm an astrologer. I'm a creative. That's what I do. Cool. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all don't have to like it. That's fine. Like, you know what I'm saying? You just gotta be in your own zone. But um, well, the reason why I think this is even coming up, and honestly, as much as I am trying to talk about this week, as much as I am trying to talk about this week. Like, as far as, like, every single trans is going on, to be real, it's very much all about this lunar eclipse that's coming up. Um, like, we have the moon making its conjunction to Lilith, so Tuesday is a really good day to kind of, like, tap in with that. Um, that's always a fire time. But, honestly, like, this is really much just surrounding this solar eclipse. This, this solar eclipse is making this, like I said, this shift, this conjunction to Mercury retrograde. It is so... Um, integral, like, think about it like this. I got you right now. I think this is, we're finally piecing together. The last total so, um, lunar eclipse was two and a half years ago. So whatever that you were trying to work on two and a half years ago to now, the solar eclipse that's coming up right now is trying to have you personify that thing the way that you originally intended. So, got you. So in between this time frame, obviously the eclipse seasons in between this time frame, the universe was like, all right, cool. You have to go do this. We're going to teach you this. We're going to have to go do this. We're going to teach you that. We're going to have to go do this to teach you that. And then it's like almost like, yo, so I got taught all this stuff, but y'all could have just put me on to begin with. The, the universe probably could have, but you wanted to declare you wanted to do this thing. Now, okay, the solar eclipse is like, all right, now that you wanted to do that thing from before, be this thing be that you don't have a choice be that talk about it if someone asks you about it talk about it it's not like you're like oh yeah well i just wanted to be an astrologer and like i started two days ago and like yeah like no now it's like bet like I, i've been doing this for a grip blah, 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 blah. that's my own example right that's my own personal example you have your own examples as well i see the comments going off and i'm just i'm rambling so i'm, <laughs> I'm gonna see y'all in one second but yeah like this is very much about that uh, cause you wish you could remember what you were trying to do then. If you don't remember what you were trying to do then, you can literally just look at the astrology and then you might be able to like figure out at least what vibes were going on at that time. Any positive abundance energy in this time frame, the positive abundance energy is only going to come when you let go of trying to be positive. It sounds really weird, but like you, you, the, like abundance in the eclipse season isn't like you being like, hi, I want more stuff. Abundance during this time frame is you just not doing anything. It which sounds very, very contradicting. And it's going to be different come next month in cancer season, 100%. But there's a lot of, like, just letting go in, or in three weeks or so. Letting go and letting that happen. 
is there a correlation with energies and the feeling of awkwardness around people? I'm not an awkward person, but you've been feeling so awkward. The awkward energy has a lot to do with this Gemini season and it's Mercury retrograde. Mercury retrograde is happening in Gemini. So people are saying stuff where it's like, what? Or like there's like a weird antsy feeling. I felt awkward almost coming on live and I've been doing this for like months. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I've been doing this for like a year. I almost felt awkward coming on here. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's a, it's, Mercury is an angsty energy. It is a very angsty energy. It rules the nervous system. Um, so like when you feel like this like nervousness, it has a lot to do with this Mercury Gemini. So don't feel like compelled to have to be like, well, da -da 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 -da. like if you feel like you're tripping up, slow it down. That's my suggestion. And if you think that you're being awkward, don't talk for a second and allow the other person to give you that like viewpoint of like, is it really awkward or am I just bugging? Because sometimes we're just in our heads, you know? So that's something to definitely point out for y'all. Uh, what if you wanted then? That is all come. Yeah. Working on realizing your true nature. That's what this is all about. That's honestly why I'm in astrology. Like that is a hundred percent why I'm in astrology at the end of the day. It's like, just because like the chart and the stars are like showing you this is your true nature. And as much as you can like divvy from that, you're still going to have those characterizations. This is your, the universe's character customization chart of you that you chose before you even came here. Like you're like, Oh, I want these energies. They're like, cool. Here you are. Here's your circumstance and situation. Congratulations. You've reached adulthood. Do what you want with the stuff that you know now. It's like, what? <laughs> but that's kind of what it is. And what adulthood? I mean, Saturn return. Because I don't think anyone's actually grown until the Saturn return. Um, <laughs> uh, anyone else needing them? Let me see. Didn't allow authenticity in your dreaming. Now you see it. You just got to, like, whatever you... Whatever is most inclined... Because I... I as much as I like, I've used the word authentic because of like work, and it's been a it's been a key word that people have been able to like kind of like key into recently. Like the term is bullshit. <laughs> like 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 you like it's not about like how do you be authentic? How do you be? How do you how do you be more of yourself? It's like you be more of yourself by just listening to yourself, and that's what the thing this Gemini um eclipse is doing too. This eclipse season is like how are you going to listen to yourself? Like, what do you want to do? You know what I'm saying? Like, like what, what do you actually want to do? Because people are, authenticity. Well, I am myself. I do that. Like, you know what I'm saying? I didn't want to do tarot for the last two weeks, so I didn't do tarot for the last two weeks. Like, you feel me? <laughs> Is that authentic to me? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Where people like, yo, what's happening to the readings? I was like, my fault. I had to take some time out. But, like, that was genuine to me i did not have the energy to like pull cards for a collective when i was like not in that space but that was me honoring me listening to me and that's what you have to do for you in your own um capacity you get what i'm saying a lot of self-care slow down being observant facts nervous systems yeah so the nervous system is being affected by mercury so if you feel like angsty that has to do you know what i'm saying listen to your inner voice never compare yourself there's nothing else to compare yourself to to be honest like and, like, this is a very Aries rising thing for me to say. But, like, have you ever actually woke up as somebody else, like, in real time? No. You've always been you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Maybe you've had a dreams. Maybe you're mad nice with dreaming and you can, like, do all that. If so, shouts out to you. But ultimately, like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You, you are you at the end of the day. And I know this is kind of getting a little more into, like, ramble territory. But what better way to... to honor gemini energy than to just ramble i was thinking to myself i'm like why am i rambling oh it's gemini season oh we're talking about the solar eclipse in gemini so much ramble so much talk um inner me is still crying bet so even if, if if you felt like you need to leave inner you alone for a bit to do its thing let that be but if that feels right to you do that thing you get what I'm coming from? Don't do something just in accordance to how other people are going to think, maybe perceive it, right? Do it because you feel right. Deprogramming is what it's all about. Thank you for that term. Deprogramming is literally what the solar eclipse is. This is solar eclipse and Mercury retrograde is like the deprogramming of anyone that's ever told you that you couldn't do the thing that you want to do, right? And it's tough. This is tough. I'm not. I'm not saying this like this is a walk in the park. That is tough. It doesn't matter what age you are, like to be able to like take away from how much like feeling and how much like vibes have been raised you and brought you up. And then to realize, oh, these things were actually wrong. 
You know? Group think kills innovation. Another great point. But, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, this is... It kills innovation. It kills putting on to the next thing. So, yeah, that's pretty much what's going on uh, there when it comes to that. But, yeah, I think this is basically the, the rundown for the week as far as, like, what's coming up for this week. At the end of the week, though, which is going to be more so what next week's um, is going to be about, we're having Mars going to Leo. So, let me talk about Mars and Cancer. Mars is ending up its trail in Cancer. And if you have felt emotional... Or like emotionally turbulent for the last month and some change since like May, Mars and Cancer, uh, <laughs> Mars and Cancer was like forcing people into their intuitions. But a lot of people don't understand that your intuition is your feelings a lot of the time. So or like very closely correlated. That's a whole other thing for another time. But um yeah, so all that's popping up uh, when it comes to this. So Mars and Cancer ending itself off before it goes into Mars and Leo. Expect this week to be a very, like, emotionally, like, forward week as far as you having to navigate through the feelings. And be, by the time the um, lunar eclipse happens is when we're going to be making the next shift into everything else. So, definitely keep that in mind. There's a lot of a lot of cool, fun stuff that is coming in with that. Um, I don't know what I'm going to be doing yet for the solar eclipse itself, um, per se. But I'm going to figure that out. And I'm going to do what feels right in that time frame as to, like, how to convey that to y'all. I might even just go live again or do something like that. Um, usually I do my class, but I'm not doing a class for um, this solar eclipse in Gemini. Uh, so I'll be doing something. I'll probably pull some cards. I have some type of, like, little thing that I do on here or give to y'all so y'all can have this. So please keep doing these lives. You'll enjoy these each week. Okay. I'm going to think about it. I mean, it makes it easier. I also just get to come up and ramble. I'm just really into, like, making stuff look really dope. But that's just, like, my artist brain taking over. And sometimes you just got to get on live and be like, hey, the stars are making a bunch of shifts and stuff. That's cool. So <laughs> appreciate the reminder on that as well, Um, that that's, like, really what that's about. So, yeah, this is what I'm saying, though. Like, you, you even, like, just the fact that it's, like, you have to pay attention as to, like, what's being said and what's being conveyed to you. Because when you get... Um, what's paying attention, what's being conveyed to you is when you can make the, the right moves and the right shifts in that regard. So, yeah. I don't know what else to say. I think I have run out of my, my Gemini ramble. <laughs> my Gemini ramble for the week. But uh, definitely, like I said, today is going to be a really uncomfortable day. I'm just going to keep it stacked. Uh, today itself, like Saturday, Mercury Retrograde, you're like, is this a dream? You are watching the astrology of today happen in real time. As you've been watching this happen, is where I'm just like, um, yeah, I don't know, but we're figuring out the next thing. I uh, appreciate you, but definitely honor myself. Much love, appreciate it. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like, just gotta honor the, honor the phases, honor the stages, and like, I can't tell you to honor yourself if I don't honor myself. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't come on here every week and be like, yo, do this. Like, yo, make sure that you do this vibe. Like, oh, make sure that you. I and I don't like I can't do that like it does not feel right to me I, I can't <laughs> like for like physically do that um Gemini and Gemini mood affected more everyone's gonna feel like a Gemini this next week <laughs> like everyone's gonna feel like a Gemini please be sure to check out where Gemini is at in your chart though like I said if you don't know where Gemini is at in your chart you don't know what the solar eclipse is gonna be doing for you please be sure to ask on my um hey hero I'll be answering questions on Hey Hero, so I'll be like, yo, here's what's happening with there. I answered a few for people about the lunar eclipse, which I think helped out a lot. So ask there. And if you're looking for like a full reading with yours truly, uh, hit up my website, chatthemaverick.com. All the link stuff is going to be in the bio site, um, slash Chad the Maverick, all that good stuff. So if you want to find me there, that's cool. Like I said, this is very impromptu. I was just like, let's, <laughs> let's do it because Mercury Retrograde has been Mercury Retrograding, so... I uh, appreciate you all for showing up. I don't even know if I'm gonna write a real caption for this. We just gonna we just gonna keep it. <laughs> we just gonna keep it as it is and keep it real. But I genuinely do enjoy you all showing up. Please make sure that you share this over with someone as well. Um, and yeah, much love. Appreciate you all for showing up. And until next time, everybody, peace. Stay blessed. Stay beautiful. Thank you for the genuine support. Um, before I sign off, like thank you for the genuine support. And I see y'all, and I know y'all names, and like, I, I peep y'all being here. And this is, like I said, a big transition for everybody. A big transition, a big re revision and figuring out for everyone in the entire collective. So 
take your time. Be patient with yourself. I posted something about that. Like, be patient with yourself yesterday. But, yeah, do all that, and everything should be good. So I appreciate you all for showing up. Uh, until next time, stay blessed, stay beautiful, do whatever you want, but don't do anything too crazy. And, um, yeah, <laughs> peace.